Okay, <laughs> I don't know what you might have heard, but I'm going to explain to you everything. So unfortunately, Sabrina is unavailable, but I'm going to give you the rundown of what went down. Let me explain. So I was thinking, what about you and Tony and Tom King and Brooklyn? Yes! Oh my goodness. What color dress? It all started out when she met Jessica. No, mommy. No, mommy. Clearly, she was lying. Mama ain't no fool. She threw the ass right on out. I'm gonna get you that rocks out of my house. <gasps> you see? Get out in the name of Jesus! 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 People that ain't got no damn manners. So she had no choice but to move in with Jessica. Everything was all nice and young when she moved in with Jess, but as people say, Jess could be a mess, and so things did not turn out what Sabrina really thought. And like all couples, what started out glittering did not always go. But you know Sabrina, she always bounced back, and that's when she found my boy, Tone. Yeah, but we could all say Tone, hmm. Honestly, I'm gonna be honest, Tone is a home. And Sabrina just thought she just found her knight in shining armor. But huh, yeah, Tone always got a trick up this week. So little did Sabrina know, Tone was broke. So, Sabrina had to work and work. And the more she worked, the more Tone needed. She just had to keep climbing her way right up the corporate ladder because Tone had needs. And I mean, not no little needs either. And Sabrina made it. I mean, she really made it. She was now the VP. Yum! Hi everybody, I'm Sabrina, Vice President of Marketing and Distribution here at Valerie Secret. Okay, I'm gonna put what she says in layman terms because clearly she's not telling you the truth. What she's saying is that she has buku money, she makes money on top of money, she got bags on top of bags, she don't got old money, she got a whole lot of new money. Oh. I love my job. I love my career. I love my life. 
no labels. That's the new law. Okay, so this is the day she disappeared. I mean, not that that particular day she disappeared, but it was like a process of her disappearing. I guess you could say. So I really like this one on your ticket gun. Right. Yeah. Hi, George. Hi, darling. Hi. So for you, good. Thank you. This matches your um, lipstick. Thank you yeah. so much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, you look good. Oh, stop it. You see in a photo shoot with Stop. Us. No, I'm more of a like behind the scenes kind no, of person. No, no, no. In front of the camera. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Chase, Chase, wow, is telling me that I should be in a photograph, amazing, wow, am I like doing a live right now? But like, you've got these other girls here with you. Look, I'm gonna lose my job. You don't need a job if you're one of my girls. Oh, okay, what kind of operation do you have going on? <laughs> Oh my goodness. Let me mind my own business over here and let you do your work, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Oh no, no. Um, all right, I'm gonna walk off. Okay. okay, so how can I describe Chase? Well, she is a rapper slash producer. Now she hasn't really made it yet, but she's on her way to the top. But honestly, rumor has it that Chase, Chase is running a cult. People say I have a cult. I don't have a cult. I just love women. Okay. What I tell you, don't be late. Hello? Yo, Jude, where's she at? We're downstairs. Give me. As I was saying, I just love women. We're what, here. What the fuck took so long? Go get dressed. I mean, Chase had a lot of girls. You know, like R. Kelly, <laughs> like 32 girls at one time. But I mean, when they got out of hand, huh, Chase sent Big Mama to go get her. Act like you like these girls. I pay a lot of money for them. <laughs> Yes, Rochelle, yes. Give that to me. Look at you. You're the only one who looks happy to be here. Jazz, what I tell you? Give me a smile. Charlie. Sammy Hunchback. Jazz, switch places. Do you and do me, bro? Make a noise, use a beat, bro. Lay across the street. Now she didn't see all the stuff that was going on that everybody was talking about? Huh? You know, Sabrina was never the same after that day. And I guess neither was Tom. Yeah, that's me. What? Well, it's not 
not that big of a deal. If it was that big uh, of a deal, you why serious? don't you just leave? Yeah. It, right excuse me, with my friend, Lisa, and my friend. You don't have a problem then? So we can't fight. She didn't want no problem. <laughs> and after that day, nobody ever heard of Sabrina. Not even her mama. You going out getting it? Well, come on, girl. Some people did say she went to work for Chase. You know how she worked Valerie Secret. I guess this <laughs> we could call it Chase Secret. But hey, you know me. I get the tea. So I know the truth. The truth is, she really became a part of the Oh, yeah. She became one of her girls. You know. Stand up or get that ass beat up. So I ain't gonna lie. Chase did take care of her. She always made sure they did have a roof over their head. But she ain't feed them too much because they all was super skinny. And I mean skinny. And that's it. That's how no labels got started. Yum! So stay tuned to the next episode. See you then. like you wanna want it post up. You distant, I just want you close up. I let you pass in this forever with a million bad ones. It's whatever. The audacity of this hoe. Trying to tell my story. My truth. You know I like my women dark and lovely. Nowadays, all the hoes can think about is money, 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 money. And I know that I can lean on you and I ain't sipping double cups of money. So pretty, I should leave with you and if not get someone else is coming all these pretty girls out here having fun tell me how can i choose one tell me how can i choose one all these pretty girls out here having fun tell me how can i choose one tell me how can i choose one if you do